Have you ever wondered how those crisp, sweet, and colorful bell peppers make their way into our everyday meals? Around the world, bell pepper production reaches 36 million tons every year, showing the great importance of this crop in agriculture and cuisine. For those who love spicy food, chili peppers are essential. But even for people who cannot eat spicy food, there is still a perfect choice, bell peppers. They are not spicy, but they are rich in vitamins, minerals, and countless health benefits. Let's explore the journey of this special crop from seed to table. Bell peppers stand out with their variety of colors, green, yellow, orange, and red. Each color brings its own unique flavor and nutritional value. Most peppers start out green and gradually turn warmer shades as they ripen, though some varieties keep the same color throughout their life cycle. No matter the color, bell peppers are beloved worldwide, rich in vitamin C, packed with antioxidants that slow aging, and supportive of skin health by boosting collagen. The journey to produce high-quality bell peppers begins with tiny seeds. Farmers usually sow seeds in nursery trays, applying techniques to control temperature, humidity, and nutrition so the seeds germinate quickly. After seven to 10 days, healthy seedlings are ready to be transplanted into open fields or greenhouses. The spacing is carefully planned, rows about two to three feet apart, plants 12 to 18 inches apart to maximize sunlight and airflow. Some farms even buy tons of seedlings directly from large nurseries to save time. When grown in soil, farmers often use agricultural mulch films to retain heat and moisture while reducing weeds. In greenhouses, hydroponic systems are widely used, growing peppers on substrates like coconut choir, rock wool, perlite, or containers filled with clay pellets. This allows growers to control the environment, maintain an ideal temperature of about 18 degrees Celsius, and produce year-round regardless of weather conditions. Automated drip irrigation systems provide steady water while saving resources and preventing waterlogging, which can damage roots. Throughout growth, farmers regularly prune and shape plants so they grow neatly in rows, making care and harvesting easier. Each week, bell peppers need about one inch of water and carefully managed nutrients help ensure even size, vibrant color, and consistent quality. When harvest season arrives, timing is critical since it directly affects crunchiness, sweetness, and color. On large farms, modern machines can harvest up to 20,000 pounds of peppers per hour. These machines are designed to work on many terrains, raised beds, flat fields, or plastic mulched rows, with conveyors that can lift as high as 11 feet to unload directly into trucks or trailers. This dramatically boosts efficiency and reduces manual labor. However, technology cannot completely replace human expertise. Farmers and workers still play an important role in choosing peppers at their peak ripeness, ensuring uniform quality before processing. In smaller greenhouses, growers often use automated trolleys that move through the rows, allowing workers to handpick the best fruits. The combination of machinery and human touch creates a production chain that is both efficient and refined. After harvest, 
millions of peppers are transported to large sorting and processing facilities. Here, each pepper is carefully placed onto conveyors, either by hand or with machine assistance, to avoid bruising. The first step is washing, either in large water tanks or with high-pressure sprays, removing dirt, bacteria, and surface impurities. Next, the peppers are dried. Then trained workers manually inspect them, removing those that do not meet standards for size, shape, or signs of disease. Modern scanners and artificial intelligence systems provide powerful support. One major innovation is 3D machine vision, which creates a three-dimensional image of each pepper, detecting even the smallest defects with near-perfect accuracy. Peppers are then sorted by color and size for different market needs. Red peppers are favored for their sweetness and high nutrition. Green peppers for their crisp texture and slightly bitter flavor. And yellow peppers for their bright color and health benefits. Finally, they are packed into large cartons. Some are wrapped in plastic to keep freshness during transport, though this method remains controversial due to environmental concerns. Today, more companies are switching to biodegradable or recycled packaging to ensure both preservation and eco-friendliness. The cartons are then loaded onto trucks, often refrigerated, to maintain quality throughout shipping. Beyond fresh sales, part of the harvest enters deeper processing lines. Here, pre-programmed robotic arms can slice peppers lengthwise, remove seeds and membranes, then cut them into strips or dice them with high precision. This technology produces ready-to-use canned products quickly, from pre-cut peppers for pizza, pasta, and salads, to ingredients for ready-made meals. Still, in many factories, skilled workers are retained for delicate tasks, maintaining a balance between machine precision and human finesse. The journey of the bell pepper from a tiny seed to a colorful ingredient on our plates is a story of farmers' dedication, advanced technology, and the wonders of nature. It is living proof of how global agriculture is innovating every day to meet the growing demands of billions of consumers worldwide. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this content helpful, please leave a comment below. Which type of bell pepper do you like best? The sweet red, the golden yellow, or the crisp green? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support us. See you again in the next agricultural journey. Pistachios, one of the most beloved and nutritious nuts in the world, have been cultivated for centuries. They originate from Iran, which used to be the largest exporter. Today, the United States has become the largest producer of this delicious nut, accounting for about 40% of the global supply. Growing pistachios not only brings joy to those who enjoy them, but also represents a highly profitable business, generating substantial income for farmers and processors. In 2022, the value of the U.S. pistachio crop reached an impressive $1.9 billion. Commercial pistachio production is concentrated mainly in California's San Joaquin and Sacramento Valleys, where growers produce nearly 300,000 tons of pistachios annually, making up more than 98% of domestic production. While Arizona and New Mexico also contribute, their output cannot compare to California's. In 2022, California pistachio growers achieved a historic record, harvesting over 1.03 billion pounds of pistachios, valued at over $1.8 billion at the farm level. This shows that pistachios are not just a tasty snack, but also a key player in the U.S. agricultural industry. But how are pistachios grown and harvested? What does it take for these nut trees to thrive and yield such bountiful harvests? Pistachios require specific soil conditions to grow. A mix of clay, sand, 
loam, and organic materials creates the ideal environment for the trees. The soil needs to drain well, but retain enough moisture. Before planting a new orchard, farmers prepare the land by plowing and leveling. Special equipment is used to break up the hard pan beneath the surface using chisels. Once the soil is ready, raised beds or ridges are created for planting, along with the installation of an irrigation system. Next comes the planting of pistachio trees. In commercial production, the trees are started from grafted plants. The scions are carefully selected and grafted onto rootstocks, chosen for their hardiness and resistance to pests. Once planted, the trees require constant care to ensure healthy growth and optimal yields. An interesting characteristic of pistachio trees is their alternate bearing nature, meaning they alternate between high yield and low yield years. This poses a major challenge for growers in managing their orchards to maximize output. Additionally, both male and female trees are needed for pollination and fruiting. Typically, one male tree is planted to pollinate eight to 24 female trees. Pistachio trees take about five to six years to start bearing fruit and growers must provide the necessary nutrition and care to help them reach their full potential. While pistachio farming is a long-term investment, a well-maintained orchard can last from 70 to 100 years. Water is vital to the growth of pistachio trees, especially during the hot summer months from late July through August. Young trees need about 50 gallons of water per day Drip irrigation systems are the primary method used, with most new orchards utilizing micro-irrigation systems to precisely control water usage. Irrigation frequency during the growing season depends on several factors, including the age of the orchard, rainfall, and other weather conditions. The shell splitting process is highly sensitive to water stress, so growers must carefully maintain soil moisture to optimize shell splitting while keeping the orchard dry for harvest. Pistachio growers in the U.S. rely on meticulous processes to determine the optimal fertilization plan for their orchards. Throughout the year, they analyze soil and leaves to assess the specific nutritional needs of the trees. Fertilizers are applied directly to the root zones at times when the trees can absorb them best. Timing is crucial and usually occurs during the winter dormancy or late spring when the canopy develops and the nuts begin to grow. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are essential nutrients applied in varying ratios based on soil availability. By precisely calibrating the nutrient mix, growers ensure that each season's crop is healthy and productive. Weeds are carefully managed and trees are pruned and sprayed to control pests and diseases that could harm the crop and reduce yields. The growing season for pistachios is critical, starting in late March when flower buds formed the previous summer begin to bloom. By April, the flowers are in full bloom, and unlike other fruit and nut trees that rely on bees for pollination, pistachios are wind-pollinated. In May, the inner shells start to form, and by June, when the shells have reached their full size, they harden and the nut fully develops. By July, as the nuts swell, the shells naturally split open, signaling that the pistachios are ready for harvest. Pistachio harvest typically begins in late August or early September, when the shells begin to split and the outer hulls easily separate. Mechanical shakers are used to harvest the nuts by vigorously shaking the trees, causing pistachios to fall into special V-shaped catch frames below. Music 
After being collected, the nuts are transferred onto conveyors and into plastic bins or trailers for transport to processing facilities. With precise harvesting techniques, farmers ensure that pistachios are carefully collected, preserving their quality and flavor. Pistachios are a delicate crop, and if left on the trees too long, or if the outer hulls stay in contact with the shells after harvest, they can become stained. To prevent this, the industry focuses on continuous harvesting 24-7 over the six to eight week harvest period. This intense phase ensures a quick, careful harvest, minimizing the risk of shell staining and maintaining the high quality and value of pistachios. After drying, pistachios may go through a mechanical process to separate the nuts based on whether their shells have split. This process involves sending the nuts through a drum with fine pins. As the drum rotates, it catches the naturally split nuts while allowing unsplit ones to pass through. Naturally split shells are highly valued and sorted by size and color. Meanwhile, the unsplit nuts are mechanically cracked to extract the kernels. Once sorted and shelled, pistachios are stored in bins and kept at temperatures between 40 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit until they're ready for packaging and sale. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.